Kyle, come keep him second for me. You can go to the room down there and laugh and somebody will be with you shortly. Hi, my name is Jordan and I'll be doing your labs today. Can you verify your first and last name for me, please? Perfect. And your date of birth, please. Thanks. So I hear you're not feeling well. Can you please describe some of your symptoms for me? I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully we'll figure out what's going on. I'm just going to run some routine tests and decide what to do from there. your arm, please. All right. And if you look over here, we'll see your vitals. So your temperature is just a little concerning, so we're going to do some routine blood tests, if that's okay. The RMU vein finder uses near-infrared light to illuminate veins, allowing a suitable vein to be located for IV insertion or a phlebotomy, which can be challenging in some patients due to age, skin color, or existing medical conditions. This low-cost device was developed through a collaboration between Robert Morris University's nursing and engineering programs. Put your arm to the sky for me, thank you. I'm gonna use my little routine handy-dandy vein finder just to make sure I'm in the right place and I don't have to stick you multiple times. Here's my tourniquet. It's gonna to be a little tight, I'm sorry. I think it's the worst part. Some alcohol, it's a little cold. Big pinch. You're doing so well, we're almost done. You are at risk. You are at moderate risk for CDs. Your blood pressure is higher than average, as well as your resting heart rate. There are treatment options for you as a moderate risk patient. Other recovered moderate risk patients chose different courses of treatment. 40% chose prescription medication, 20% chose diet change, 30% chose exercise, and 10% chose a combination of these three treatment paths. Each treatment has a different probability of full recovery. Diet has a probability of recovery of 50%. Exercise increases to 60%, 85% for pure prescription use, and there is a 95% probability of recovery using diet, exercise, and prescription medications. By choosing all three, the patient is choosing the highest probability of full recovery.